What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? It's your boy, Matty Ice Leads for Locals. In this video, I want to show you how to create a Facebook carousel ad for your Facebook ad campaigns because they are freaking awesome. And uh, I've been using these quite a bit and realized I haven't done a video on this. Uh, so I wanted to share it with you guys because they're working really well. Uh, I've been using these quite a bit and they tend, so I, I'm split testing them against uh, uh, like using single image ads. And Facebook tends to uh, lean towards the carousel ad just because they naturally get more engagement. So your, your ad costs are lower, you're getting better engagement, you're gener ten you tend to generate more leads, not all the time. That's why you, you still wanna split test it. But I'm finding that these types of ads work really well where people are, it has multiple images. It's kind of like a slideshow almost, and people can swipe left to see the next image, right? Uh, so this is working really well. So I want to show you guys how to create that, uh, create this. So make sure you stay to the end. I'm going to show you an example here, how they work. And then I'm going to show you step by step how to create this inside of Canva. It's actually not very difficult at all. And uh, it's very, very worth it. All right. So uh, here's an example of one that I did a while back. And basically what I what I try to do with my carousel ads, like I, I like using text based. Uh, I have used images inside of my carousel like these are like each one is called a card but i i, I don't know it just like uh, this this text based carousel ad is is just working really well so each card tells a different part of the story i'm trying to tell i guess and what i'm trying to offer so it kind of creates that natural curiosity right like people want to to see how it ends and and see what's next right so attention entrepreneurs learn how to create uh, or start your own credit repair business and then people can swipe see the next one. And at any point, people can click this and it would send a message uh, or, you know, go to your landing page or a lead form if you're using uh, lead forms, whatever. All right. Reveals how to get your first client 24 hours. Even if you have zero experience with credit repair, want the training, click send message button. We'll send it to your success leads for locals, blah, blah, blah. Right. So this one only had what, five cards. Uh, I've created some that have seven to eight cards. It just depends on how long of a, a story you're trying to tell here. Um, I don't know that there's a max. I want to say it's like 10. I don't, I don't know if uh, Facebook has a maximum amount of cards that you can add. But uh, I just want to show you guys an example. So how do we create this? Um, also, one other example, uh, like this is the one that I'm going to show you how to create because it's the easiest to start with. Um, but uh, th this is another example that I uh, so of a campaign that I ran. Uh, this was like an affiliate campaign. I was built. I was using uh, lead forms to build my list. Uh, lead forms are awesome for that. But uh, this one did pretty well, we generated a lot of leads on this campaign. And again, it's just uh, it's just naturally creating that curiosity. So like in this one, I'm asking a question here. Disaster struck tomorrow. Would you be prepared? Well, I don't know. Uh, storms are getting worse and more destructive every year, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just kind of going, you know, it's like a fear based type of ad, whatever. And uh, I was offering like a free survival guide or whatnot. But yeah, and you'll notice that uh, you, I have the images in the background, right? So this is this is a little bit more, I don't even want to say advanced. It's not hard. I've, I, all of these are done using templates inside of Canva, guys. Like I, I'm not a, a master, you know, designer, a graphic designer. I just, I, I take the templates inside of Canva. So let's, uh, let's head over there. Let me show you how to make these. Uh, so I take these templates and I customize them to my campaign that I'm that I'm doing, uh, the offer that I have, the audience that I'm going after, right? So like they have some just fantastic templates in here. So what I what I do when I want to create a carousel ad is inside of Canva, I just type in carousel. It's going to bring up all of their templates. Any templates that you like, I would recommend that you when you're logged in, just hit this button here. Uh, it saves it to your your likes, which I, I, I honestly I don't even know where those are. To be totally honest, uh, I, I have to I'd have to find them. But anyways, that's not the point of this. So the the template that I usually use, uh, let me see if I can scroll down and find it here. Um, I use, actually use this one, believe it or not, for this right here. And I just change the colors and obviously and the background images. That's really all I did with this. And this one, let's see right here. OK, distance education tips for teaching from home. Okay, so we click that, it's gonna open it up. And basically all we have to do is add the text. Uh, sometimes I do add the logo, uh, a logo to each card, you know, it's good for brand awareness. Uh, if you have the space, you don't wanna cram a bunch of text, a bunch of stuff onto each card because it just looks sloppy, it looks unprofessional. So that's, uh, that's something important to keep in mind. All right, but really all we have to do is customize the text here 
and then uh, add a button. That's really all we have to do. Um, once it finally decides to load here, I'm not sure why this is taking forever. Okay. So you'll notice here that it comes with seven pre-made cards. I actually don't use all of these. You can, but what I usually do is delete all of these, okay, and then use this one, uh, use this first one, all right? So all we have to do, uh, firstly, let, let's say you do want to add your logo. You're going to click on uploads. You'll upload media, find your logo, upload it into Canva, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm just going to find mine really quick. I have mine in a folder. Definitely recommend creating folders uh, if you're going to be using Canva on a regular basis because, uh, yeah, lots of images. It's good to stay organized. All right, so we click our logo. Once we have it uploaded, we could drag it up to the top here. could do whatever you want. All right, uh, let's actually go ahead. I'm going to um, highlight both of these so I can move them at the same time. We're going to move that up a little bit. And then what do we say? We said attention, entrepreneurs. Whoops. I could type. Okay, and then what do we say? Learn how to start your own credit repair business. And this one did really good. I think uh, I generated like 80 leads, 80 messages. Um, got a bunch of free trials signed up. Uh, we were like, it was at like under three bucks a lead. It did really well. All right, now let's add the button. And it's not technically a button, I guess, but it acts like one because inside of Facebook on the newsfeed, when people click your image on your ad, it opens, it, it brings them to whatever call to action you have, whether it's a message, a lead form, your landing page, whatever. So it technically acts like a button and people love clicking buttons. It's been proven time and time again to increase your, uh, your click through rates. So if you're not using buttons in your uh, ad images, guys, you have to. All right, so I uh, clicked on text, add a subheading. Uh, I usually just use learn more for my call to action. And then to turn this into what looks like a button, we're gonna click on elements. And then we're just gonna find uh, our, our square, lines and shapes, find your square. You can search for it here if you need to. All right, we're gonna click that. It's gonna bring up the square, pop up the square on our card here. We're gonna drag it down to resize it. And we're gonna drag it over the learn more subheading. And let's drag this over and boom. Now we have what looks like a button, right? So people click that and it takes them to wherever you're sending them. Okay, of course we could change the, uh, the, the button color. If you have certain brand colors you wanna use, we could change the color of the subheading text. All right, and then what I do from there, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't use all of these cards. Uh, typically, I just use this this framework right here. Uh, so all you'll do, so you don't have to recreate everything, you just do the text. You're going to hover over the card until it's got the three dots, and we're going to duplicate this. Okay, and then you just customize the next one, right? So I think the next one we said free training reveals how to get your first. Wow, I really can't type today. First client in 24 hours. Catchy. All right. And then, uh, so you just keep duplicating the card with whatever it is that you're saying until you're done. I, I don't think there's a maximum number of cards. I, I want to say that there's got to be a maximum number of cards that you can put in a carousel ad on Facebook. I don't know. I, I, I rarely go above eight, like seven or eight. Uh, I think eight's the most I've done. Now, what I usually do, so when you're ready, uh, obviously delete these uh, if you're not going to use them, but I usually download each card individually. If you click download here, oh, also what I like to do too, um, actually, I don't know if that, uh, never mind. I don't, I don't know that that uh, works on uh, on Facebook. We'll just, uh, we'll keep going. Uh, so when, it, when I click download, uh, you'll see that uh, it's it wants to download all the pages together, which you can do. It'll put it in a zip file. Just like Facebook has given me so much trouble with like basic shit like this. I don't know why, but uh, I usually just uh, download each individual play page. So I'll, I'll, I'll uncheck the box here. Page one, done, download. And then I've got a call coming in. One second. It's very loud when it, when it does. All right. Uh, and then you do the next, do it for page two, page three, right? Um, so I usually download them individually. It's up to you. All right. Now, once you, once you have all of your images downloaded, how do we actually create the carousel ad in Facebook? All right. So what we're going to do is inside of our ads manager. 
Okay, this is done at the ad level, obviously. It's the same thing as creating a single, basically the same thing as a single image ad as far as where you're setting this up. It's just, uh, you're gonna change it from single image to carousel ad. And uh, the headline, you don't get as much space on the headline, but you're, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So uh, let me turn this preview off. Always makes everything lag. All right, so all you wanna do is under ad setup, so instead of single image, you're just gonna choose carousel, that's it. And then you're gonna scroll down and it's going to pre-populate like three cards, I think. It's gonna uh, look like this. Hold on, let me add one here so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, and if you ever wanna, well, you'll need to do this. You're gonna add media. And then, uh, so each card is gonna look like this to edit. You just click it, all right? And right here, you select image. All right, obviously you're going to upload all of your images into Facebook. All right, you click the image, blah, blah, blah. You're good to go, okay? And then uh, you'll, you'll see it over here in the preview. And then the, for the headline, uh, I usually just do, like, what are you offering? Are you, are you offering a free guide, a free consultation, or what? And then I usually add an emoji, uh, like a, a right-pointing emoji. So if you go to emojipedia.org, uh, I, I always use emojis in my, my ad copy, my headlines. It just, it makes it stand out and increases click through rates, all that stuff. So if you type in pointing right here on emojipedia.org, it's going to bring up a bunch of pointing right emojis that you can use. I usually use this right arrow one right here. So we click this and you're just going to uh, click on copy, go back to your ads manager and paste it in next to your... So this would be, uh, uh, what do we offer? Free training. So we would do free training or not. Yes, there we go. Okay. So free training and then you have the button or I'm sorry, the, uh, the emoji that is pointing at the, the learn more button. Okay. And I, I usually keep my call to action as learn more, like I said. Okay. Uh, well, in this case, actually I, I did send message because I was doing a messenger. So just to keep it consistent, but uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you create carousel ads. So I, I definitely encourage you to go into Canva, play around with a couple of different templates and uh, see what you come up with because these things are working really well in my business. I'm using it for clients. It's working really well. I'm going to uh, definitely be putting it into the academy. So make sure you check out the links in the description. Always have some cool stuff for you guys. Give the video a like uh, was, if this was helpful. Uh, hopefully it was. Uh, give you a couple of different ideas, different variations of ads that you can create because um, you want to constantly... Uh, keep your your ads fresh, right? Coming up with different styles of ads that people, you know, maybe maybe um, people saw your single image ad, weren't too crazy about it, but now when they see your carousel ad, you know, they they might actually engage with it, right? So you want to keep it, uh, just have a bunch of different uh, strategies for your Facebook ads, right? Works really well. So uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, and I uh, hope you guys are crushing it. Talk to you in the next video. Peace.